First reading A reading from the book of Leviticus chapter 25 verse 1 and verse 8 to 17 The Lord said to Moses on Mount Sinai Seven weeks of years shall you count seven times seven years so that the seven cycles amount to 49 years Then on the 10th day of the 7th month let the trumpets resound on this the day of atonement the trumpet blast shall re echo throughout your land this 50th year you shall make sacred by proclaiming liberty in the land for all its inhabitants it shall be a jubilee for you when every one of you shall return to his own property every one to his own family estate In this 50th year your year of jubilee you shall not sow nor shall you reap the aftergrowth or pick the grapes from the untrimmed vines since this is the jubilee which shall be sacred for you you may not eat of its produce except as taken directly from the field in this year of jubilee then Every one of you shall return to his own property therefore when you sell any land to your neighbor or buy any from him do not deal unfairly on the basis of the number of years since the last jubilee shall you purchase the land from your neighbor and so also on the basis of the number of years for crops shall he sell it to you When the years are many the price shall be so much more when the years are few the price shall be so much less for it is really the number of crops that he sells you do not deal unfairly then but stand in fear of your god i the lord am your god the word of the lord a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew herod the tetrarch heard of the reputation of jesus and said to his servants this man is john the baptist he has been raised from the dead that is why mighty powers are at work in him now herod had arrested john bound him and put him in prison on account of herodias the wife of his brother philip For John had said to him it is not lawful for you to have her although he wanted to kill him he feared the people for they regarded him as a prophet but at a birthday celebration for Herod the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for prompted by her mother she said give me here on a platter the head of john the baptist the king was distressed but because of his oaths and the guests who were present he ordered that it be given and he had john beheaded in the prison his head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him and they went and told Jesus the gospel of the Lord my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ the holy mother church celebrates today the feast of saint ignatius of loyola and he was born in the family castle at loyola in northern spain following a military career once he was seriously wounded for a long time he was bedridden and during that time it is said 
that he has read the life of Christ and also book of the saints. After reading and meditating upon these writings, at the end of his time at home, he had a question and he said, if the saints could do this, why not I? I repeat, if the saints could do this, why not I? So he left the military service and after his recovery, he spent one year in solitude in search of God's will. And this is the message that we receive from his life. Always, as Christians and Catholics, we should have the mentality to find the God's will and the plan of God for you and for me. That does not mean that we should always leave our studies or leave our occupation, leave our homes and go in solitude. But having our responsibilities, we should have in our mind to find always to will of God. We should tune our minds to God's will. And after this experience, he decided that he should study philosophy and theology. And St. Ignatius dedicated him his life for 11 years for the studies. After becoming a priest, he founded the Society of Jesus, commonly known as Jesuits. And his, his life, he always said, the more desperate things seem, the more we must hope in God. When man's aid fails, God is close at hand. And this was his experience. We should always find the plan of God and we should go to Jesus always so that his help is at hand. And St. Ignatius was died in 31st of July 1556 and canonized in 1662. Let's ask the intercession of St. Ignatius of Loyola so that we may find always time for God, some time for God to find out his plan for you and for me. God bless you all.